Newer homes, older homes, which one's better? Well, let me tell you four things to think about, and I'll let you make your own decisions on this. All right, number one, location. Think about this like a movie theater. Okay, you're going out to see a movie. Let's say the tickets are all sold out and、uh, the theaters are packed full. Okay, what seats in the movie theater you think are gonna be taken first? The seats that are in the middle with the best view, right? Well, you can always think about it this way: the seats with the best locations. And then once those seats are taken, it spreads out to the corners, the seats where nobody wants to sit at because they don't get the best view on the screen. Okay, houses are the same way. The best lots are usually getting built on the first. Usually, the best locations, the most convenient to stores, interstates, entertainments, closer to downtown but now too close to downtown, locations with the best views. I don't know, beachfront, lakefront, lots with the view of the city skyline, and those houses are like the seats with the best view in a movie theater. The newer houses. I'm not saying their locations are necessarily bad. I'm just saying usually, in most cases, the best locations are already taken many, many years ago. Number two, the value of a house. I'm gonna put this up front. I'm an extreme cheapskate. I like to buy things seventy, eighty cents on a dollar. All right, the value of a house. Let's think about it this way. Think about your house like a car. We all heard of this saying: the minute you drive your new car off the lot, you lose ten percent of its value. I'm not talking about the price. I'm talking about the value. So for a car, it loses the most value in the first few years, and then the value curve slowly flattens. So let's use this example: the price difference between a 2024 Toyota Camry versus a 2023 Toyota Camry. The price difference on that is in the thousands. But for a 2002 Toyota Camry versus a 2001 Toyota Camry, the price difference on that is in the hundreds. So a house is the same way. It's not as extreme. I'm not talking about the price. I'm talking about the value. So the value of a house drops the fastest in the first few years, and then it flattens up. So it really depends on what type of person you are. You buy all your cars brand new, or you only buy used cars. For me, I only buy used cars. And for a house, a new house usually have higher insurance costs and higher property tax. Yes, I know newer houses. They are more modern. They have granite countertops. The kitchen is more open. There's no avocado green tiles in the bathroom. Don't you like these avocado green tiles? I probably shouldn't have touched that. But you kind of pay for that. New houses are selling at a premium. If you buy an older home, the difference on the price is actually justifiable for you to do a brand new kitchen renovation or a bathroom renovation if you want it. Look, a new house could be fifty thousand dollars more expensive, but the bathroom renovation is only like seven or eight thousand dollars. Depends on where you live and what kind of finishes you want to put in. For a kitchen, it's more like fifteen twenty thousand dollars. All right, number three, established neighborhoods. I hate to say it this way, but I hate HOAs. And most of the new constructions these days, they are all cookie cutter neighborhoods with HOA fees. And you can pretty much stick your hand out of your kitchen window and touch your neighbor's house. And definitely, you don't want to walk around naked in your house. Oh God, you're showing everything. Cover it up for the love of God. Fine. Go take a shower.、Bye. You stink. Nice tattoo, by the way. Older houses that have more mature landscapes. So if you want to build a treehouse one day, older houses they're usually on bigger lots. So if you want to have a shed to store tools, or have an ADU in your backyard, or put in a swimming pool, I'm not saying newer houses don't have these, but newer houses they're usually just more expensive and about the same price the house you get. Older houses they usually have more options and they usually are on a bigger lot. The new subdivisions they build these days, they just raise everything down. No trees, no problem. You don't have those mature landscape anymore. So bye bye privacy, soil settlement. The older homes they are there for many many years already. And for those newer homes, and I don't know what's wrong with Texas homes these days. I mean, every other homes have foundation problems, but for newer homes, the dirt under it is usually still settling. So I don't care how much you pack that dirt, the soil is still settling. So believe it or not, it's more likely for a new house to have foundation problems than an old house that did not have any foundation problems in the past. I bet you didn't know that. And I don't care what house you have, newer home or older home. Go outside your house on a rainy day and see where the water flows. Water is your number one enemy, no doubt about that. 99% of the problems in a house can all circle back to water. And number four, construction quality. It is true they don't build them like they used to anymore. Back in the days, they used plywood. There's no OSB or fiberboard. So older homes actually handle water a lot better than newer homes. Older homes usually have brick on the outside, and brick is a brick. It's maintenance free. You don't ever have to worry about it unless you paint it. Once you paint it, you gotta paint it every five years. But bricks are very expensive to lay. And newer homes they usually have hardy board on the outside, and you gotta paint it every five years. Guess who has to pay for that? Let me tell you, it's not cheap. If the surface is painted, it will chip. 
And the last point, I generally wish it would never happen to you. Burn speed. So if your house ever catches on fire, the new materials these days is a lot faster to burn through. Solid lumber versus LVL, fiberboard, OSB, they are a lot slower to burn. So you actually have a little more time to escape out of your house. And I hope this will never happen to you. So these are my take on newer homes versus older homes as someone who bought and sold hundreds of houses personally and only almost 100 doors of rentals. Watch this video if you want to know how to renovate an old house the most economical and effective way. And subscribe.